in this video we are going to learn how to connect delphi with database into the database uh, i am going to take the microsoft sql uh, using the firetag component so firetag component uh, we are going to take the fd connection uh, tap data set and data source and uh, the data where component will take the db grid now here how to do uh, these are the three component i have taken as i said fd connection uh, fd query as a data set and data source so we have to give the connection here we have to set some of the property in the fd connection component so just double click on this and you will see, see here all the uh, parameters and we have to give the value so here the database that i have given and uh, the, and the server name i have given so this is server name for me i will show it here this is the same server name i have given here from the uh, Microsoft SQL Server Studio Management, and I have one database, the customer database, and I am fetching the data from the employee detail. I'm going to fetch the data from the employee detail table, right? So let's go to the Delphi, the server I have given, and this is the Windows authentication I have given. So no need to give the user uh, name and password because it will authenticate uh, from the user uh, Windows uh, authentication. Okay, and uh, key thing is here server name, database, and authentication part, right? And what is the driver ID? So, MS SQL driver ID. Now we can test it here the connection is uh, proper or not. So, that's the OS authentication I have given here. So, no need to give the user name and password. That is what I said earlier also. Click on OK. Connection is successful. Let's see that. Now we are able to connect with the database through the FireTag connection component. Now, this FireTag connection component reference we have to give in the FD query, right? So, FD query I have given the FireTag MS SQL uh, demo connection, right? Component reference here in the connection uh, property. And after that, FD query we have to write the query, like what data we are going to fetch from the table, right? Fetch from the database. So, I am going to fetch the data from the select star from inside detail, right? So this is the implied detail I'm going to fetch. So this will be the data for me for uh, record, imply ID, imply name and imply address. Perfect. And this is the data source. In data source, we have to give the data set, set, set reference. So data set is for us, FD query, right? FD query. So that I have provided here. Now this data so, source, we have to give reference into the, our data where components DB grid. In DB grid, I have given the data source, data source one. What is this object? Data source, the data source object is the data source one, right? And we have given all the reference, and after that, just we have to uh, mention the connected FD query also here connected. The data will display here in the grid, DB grid, right? So, imply ID, imply name, and imply address, whatever is there in the database, same it is for record is displaying in our Delphi company, Delphi, right? Thank you. So I have in, uh, included the chat GPT, uh, that's uh, uh, open API uh, here, and uh, just we can ask any anything uh, from the chat G GPT tool, like create a class to make the zip file. Uh, we can ask and it will give you the complete class that will uh, know how to make the zip file. Okay, similar way, uh, we can ask, uh, create a class to connect MS SQL and display the data into the DB grid uh, with Delphi or using Delphi. Just ask. So we can see here uh, uh, we got the response from uh, Chat GPT. They have created the data module class, and after that, uh, these are the ADO connection and ADO data set, ADO data source, DB grid, and here on the connect database, uh, just they are connected, data display, they are open the data set right so we can uh, use the chat gpt that will help us in the development uh, related to the chat gpt i have created a separate video i will provide the link in this video thank you